and very blustery conditions as we get our Wednesday morning started. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, so we are seeing lots of cold air filtering into Southern California, and we are watching as snow levels drop down to as low as 1,000 feet. So currently we're seeing just a few snow flurries out there up toward the mountains, Ventura and Los Angeles County mountains. But yes, wind is the big story as you are getting up and getting ready to head outside. We do have a high wind warning for very strong gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. This is along the coastline from Oxnard all the way into Long Beach. We are also seeing a wind advisory in place through the morning hours. This is for Orange County, the Inland Empire, and that high wind warning extending all the way to the desert community. So we have, again, strong winds across Lancaster, Camarillo, and Oxnard at this hour, all the way down to LAX and even into Oceanside. Not too bad as we head to the San Fernando Valley into Burbank, downtown Los Angeles, but double digit wind speeds as we go to Santa Ana and into Ontario. So I want to walk you through exactly what's going to happen as we head into the next few days, because right now we are seeing again a few light snow showers. It looks like we could see that activity increase, especially across the mountains, some of the high desert locations as we head through the day today. But then we will see a more uh, system that is associated with a lot more moisture, and this is going to push in as we head into Thursday. Friday and continue into Saturday. So this is when we could see heavy rain possible, heavy snow up in the mountain communities. And like I mentioned earlier, we have that very rare blizzard warning that was issued by the National Weather Service that was late last night. So this goes into effect Friday and Saturday for the mountains of Los Angeles and Ventura County. Last time something like that was issued here in Southern California, 2006. So again, this is a very rare storm that we are dealing with. Otherwise, we will see those chances of showers and snow showers lingering as we head through Saturday with thunderstorms possible. Once we head into Saturday and this area of low pressure moves on shore. This system is going to move out of here and we will take a very brief break from the wet weather. Then it looks like we could see more rain and more snow as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So let's talk about the potential for some travel disruptions because travel is going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for our major mountain passes. So we could see uh, lots of road closures. You will want to plan for uh, freeway shutdowns, especially areas like the Grapevine, the 14 and the 15, the Cajon Pass. Again, this is something that we will all continue to watch with the heavy snow possible. Otherwise, across Los Angeles, Orange County, a very cool and blustery day. Temperatures in the 50s today. 50s will continue as we head into Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday with heavier rain possible. Valleys, we've got temperatures in the mid 50s today. Again, it's going to be quite windy, and it is possible we see some thunderstorms develop as we head into Saturday. One of those weekends, you might just want to stay inside, watch Netflix, watch a movie, uh, as we are going to be looking at pretty nasty weather. Beaches in the mid 50s today. We've got rain chances increasing late Thursday into Friday. Now across the high deserts, this is where we have a winter weather advisory in place and we could see a mixture of rain and snow at least through Friday, maybe even Saturday and up in the higher elevations, the mountains. This is where we are looking at snow through Saturday. Again, a brief break Sunday, Monday and then snow possible again as we head into Tuesday.